Hey guys, got some more uh, Hero for Hire counters for you. So we got the Ultron Fantastic Four, we got the Kestrel Black Bolt Fury, and now let's talk about the Astonishing X-Men. Now right off the bat, you guys, you'll notice it's 140k punch down, so it's not too, too impressive. However, I'm gonna note, I play it super bad, and it's in security. So because it's in security, my main focus is getting these defense downs off my team, and that's why I use the Beast Special here instead of the Beast Ultimate. Another thing I'll say is Jessica Jones is our main target, and our secondary target should have been Colleen. The Astonishing X-Men are great at peeling off uh, buffs, especially mine, because I have level 5 Skirmisher on uh, Iceman, Beast, and Kitty. So what we should do is go for a Colleen, strip through the Luke Cage when we have to, and then get back on the Colleen. It's not what we're going to do, as you'll see. But of course, we do want to take out the Jessica Jones, so she's not giving energy, not cleansing them, and just for a little bit of speed that we're going to get from her. So see, I land a very important offense down on the Colleen. It's going to come in great hand. Handy. We want to use the special here. We want to get rid of that uh, heal block, and we want to bring everyone back into green, so that if they do dip back into yellow, Beast is going to get more speed again. And then this is where I go off the rails, guys. I start going for the Luke Cage, and then I start uh, targeting other characters, trying to control them, but at the same time, drop them into the yellow. They lose charges, they get buffs. Uh, just not super well played on my part, but it still works out. So there goes Beast. He's just kind of balancing back and forth. People are dropping the yellow, he's bringing them back, and so on and so forth. So watch my Astonishing X-Men just strip through all these buffs. I do have Kitty's basic T4, which helps, and then uh, that's it. It took two turns, they're all gone. I should have went to uh, Colleen at this point. Instead, I'll put Blind on uh, Iron Fist, who will immediately get rid of that because it dropped him in the yellow. And now I'll go back on to Luke Cage because I'm a fool. Go for Colleen. Colleen's the number one kill target. You kill Colleen, this team falls apart. And you're going to see I keep knocking uh, charges off them. Try and focus one down without dropping charges off everybody as that does increase their damage, damage resistance, and uh, their damage reduction as well as resistance. I believe it's 10% 10, uh, 10 damage increase, 10% damage reduction, and 175% resist. So we're going to use the special here that's just to give us some offense up. We don't think we're going to kill Luke Cage from that high. It's a pretty big Luke Cage. We use the special just because I know that'll get the Luke Cage killed. We could have used the ults there, but that's okay. There goes the charge on Colleen. Let's get some slows out here. There you go. Now, guys, I'll note if you get the opportunity, try and get a disrupt out on uh, Colleen and Misty as soon as possible, especially if they're adjacent to each other. And then you can land your slows and your offense downs more reliably. Because there's going to be deflex everywhere. So we finally get to use the ult. We stun the Colleen, but we're also going to immediately uh, break her out of her own stun by taking that charge away right here. Now they have no more charges, guys. Um, so they are buffed from this, but it's also just the three of them now, so we're definitely not worried about it. We go ahead and we take them uh, down one by one. Starting with the Misty, so you see I really messed up on the kill order. Definitely want to do Colleen first. I'm needlessly taking all this damage. Which I guess in a sense is battering beast to keep getting uh, energy and speed, but I'd rather just take her out and take no damage, then I don't even need the speed. And this should do it for her. There she goes. Finish off the Iron Fist, and that'll be our third counter. So you'll recall from the last video, if you watched the last video, that I was talking about a certain team I'd like to try and why I'd like to try them. I'll get into that real quick here. In short, uh, Scientist Supreme to cleanse the Doom, the ability block off Doom, and the Star Lord to give uh, energy to Doom. Doom and Silver Surfer should be swapping spots here, as well as activating the Silver Surfer passive for that extra focus. Uh, Aim Security was really just there to give more speed to Scientist Supreme so she would go before Doom. But uh, that wouldn't have worked if Doom was dropped into yellow or, uh, yeah, just wouldn't have worked. 
Instead, I was talking with my buddy Hidden Rapture. He uh, sometimes streams on Twitch. You should check him out. And we were talking about Loki and how Loki's passive reduces the resistance of enemies, right? To help Silver Surfer land that uh, charge strip. And then Captain Marvel fills the role of Star-Lord. Uh, not in the energy battery department, but in the activating Silver Surfer passive. And Night Nurse has the potential, not guaranteed, to cleanse Doctor Doom of the ability block should he be uh, adjacent to the lowest target or the lowest target uh, himself, lowest ally, I should say. She also has the benefit of gaining speed if she drops into yellow, which would prompt her to go before Doom. Uh, if Doom gets knocked into yellow, he'll obviously go before her. But anyway, let's get into this and let's show you how it plays out. Basically, I'm stacking a bunch of focus onto Silver Surfer uh, to make sure that he lands that strip on the charge. So one thing I will say is my Loki is very low. He's really just there for his passive and his death actually gives offense up to Silver Surfer, which helps him strip even more. So he's got offense up, a bunch of extra resist, and uh, I don't know, will she, will Colleen still resist it because Jessica Jones is there? I don't know. We're gonna go for the triple tap here. We're gonna use the alt because it's gonna activate the passive. And that's going to take all these deflects off. So there's one deflect, two deflects, and then she's out of deflects. So we have offense up. She's out of deflects. She does have defense up. Not good enough. She gets stripped. Dr. Doom takes his turn. He obviously can't do anything. His ability blocks. We just basic. Now Night Nurse is going to go. So I'm going to use the heal from her. She's going to heal uh, Doom as well as Captain Marvel and herself. And now we just gotta survive until Doom gets to take his turn. Unfortunately, Misty does put a slow on him. Uh, well, she puts a stun on him, but he flips into a slow very near the start of his uh, turn meter, which is devastating for Doom. We go ahead and we give uh, Luke Cage some debuffs, and then Captain Marvel actually strips him of his taunt, which is gonna let us go over to the other side and finish off Jessica Jones. So she does give energy out. Unfortunately, we want to stop her from using her basic and possibly giving out even more. So she's gone. There goes Misty. And now Dr. Doom gets to go. He's going to ult, and uh, you guys can imagine what's happening here. So I know that Colleen is going to die from the, the special when we inevitably use it. So instead, I'm just going to beat up on Iron Fist here. You could have beat up on Misty, too. It really wouldn't have mattered. Maybe I should have used the second basic on Misty, would have got the charges off faster. But that's kind of neither here nor there, because Silver Surfer is going to rip it off her. He's going to be guaranteed to get the three turns from Doom in this uh, team setup, which is great. The faster you can get back to that ultimate, the faster you can rip off more charges. So there you go, it's up. And we're going to take everything off Misty as well as those charges. He still has all the benefits of the... Uh, the resist train we put on him. He didn't have offense up there, but that was fine. He didn't need it. Night Nurse coming in handy with a bunch of slows. And as you can see, guys, this one is done. Nothing left to do but take down the big wall of Luke Cage. Now, Loki I had with Super or Hella Natural. Uh, I have no problem taking him off Hella Natural. I don't really like the Hella Natural team. I don't find them reliant against anything except Wave 1 Avengers. I think his passive is much more beneficial here. Uh, Captain Marvel was a free agent, so giving her this home was great. Silver Surfer and Doom, I was always kind of underutilizing their potential, and I think taking out the Heroes for a higher team is great. The one person I'd like to replace is Night Nurse. And who would I like to replace her with? Well, the Squirrel Girl, of course. Squirrel Girl will do everything for this team that Night Nurse did, but better. Now, I just don't have Squirrel Girl built up, so I'm gonna need to fix that. Now, the reason Squirrel Girl's better is because her base speed is at 120 instead of 100 to Night Nurse. Uh, that puts her nine higher than Doctor Doom. So if neither of them get dropped to yellow, she's going to go first, she's going to cleanse it, and he's going to be able to use that special turn one. Super helpful. Furthermore, she also has that same passive that Night Nurse has. She gets knocked low enough, 
she's gonna get 30 uh, speed bar and that's gonna prompt her to go again before doom the only the only bad thing would be if doom gets knocked to yellow before she does but then that would be the same case with night nurse furthermore she gives uh offense down to everybody and her cleanse cleanses everything so if that fifth unknown member of heroes for hire uh, puts extra debuffs on doom she's gonna cleanse it all so you're still gonna get that ability block off and i think that's super critical so yeah squirrel girl all the way now there's one variant for the heroes for hire that uh just can't be beaten right now uh and that is the kestrel version in security very likely you're gonna be dead before you even take a turn which sucks um on this giant punch down 115k punch down I was at least able to take out the Kestrel. I almost won. I know it doesn't look like I almost won, but everybody was healthy except for Beast. And Beast kind of got love tapped down just after I killed Kestrel, just before he got his turn. He would have brought himself back up and I could have ran the train. Uh, but it is what it is. You know, Reminex, you're a great guy, but why did you show everybody this? This is so unfun. Uh, hopefully, Adam Warlock's team will be able to crush this and crush all Hero for Hire variants. I am going to be going pretty hard to unlock Adam Warlock and his entire team. I hope to bring you guys great content for that. But until then, stay happy, stay healthy, and have fun, guys. Take care.